welcome to the 30 days of AI challenge where by the end hopefully you will be able to train your own AI. Now if you have any questions do put it down in the chat and the live version of Rahul will be chatting with you there as well. Anyway let's roll in day 2. So we are not going to go obviously this much in depth right but there is a lot to AI right as you can see here. But what we will be covering are literally these artificial intelligence, machine learning, neural networks, deep learning, generative AI and in this we will go in little in depth right. Some basics of this. So let's go in depth. So we already learned what AI is. Can you guys tell me what is machine learning? Oh it's already written here. Okay. There is no use of asking. But it's literally in the name right. Machines being able to learn right. So for AI to learn stuff machine needs to learn right first. So here is what the definition is. Machine learning is a form of AI that enables a system. Okay, I am not going to read a full definition. But in short, think about it this way. Till now, we used to code and all right. We used to talk to computers by coding, Python, Java. But now with AI, you can just tell ChatGPT, bro, what are you talking about? I don't understand this. Explain me quantum dynamics in the most easiest way, right? You can talk to it in natural language without programming, right? See, it's more of like, like teaching AI without programming rather than talking to it. But when you teach AI without programming a lot of pictures and all, that's machine learning. Basically uploading pictures, giving a lot of examples of previous communications so it can replicate that communication. So inside this machine learning, we can teach machines in two ways. One is unsupervised learning and one is supervised learning. First supervised learning. So imagine this, okay? What he said is totally correct, but I'm gonna teach it to you guys like a, a kindergarten teacher, okay? Because I try to make everything so simple because or I won't even understand, okay? So teacher shows showing label fruit cards, learning from examples plus answer. Imagine I show you an apple, imagine I show you an uh, orange and I'm like, this is apple guys, this is orange and then I show you banana, I, I can't say it is pineapple, right? I say it is a pineapple. That's supervised learning. When we give AI a lot of pictures and then we tell it, for example, a lot of pictures of dogs and cats, we say these are dogs, these are cats. Cats are, okay, I, I like dogs more, but still, still, no that, but still. Dogs are kind of, you know, uh, I like them because they're more calm and, you know, they come to me and all. Cats, kind of arrogant. Hmm. Okay, anyway, leaving all that aside, okay. Supervised data, I don't, I don't want a war to go on right now. Okay, then I heard of me too. Okay, supervised data. An example of supervised data is basically when you unlock your phone, right? It is, It knows how your face looks like, so it is able to unlock it. It's not predicting. It doesn't predict if my face looks like Thanos or if it looks like me, right? Or it, 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 So it's like much more different. It knows how my face looks like. Okay, we learn what supervised learning. Next up, next up, okay unsupervised learning right finding random foods in the shop right dogs remember i said i told it how dogs look like then i told it how cats look like there are different breeds of dogs and cats right those are unsupervised i don't name them i don't name them that is a, a beagle that is a cocker spaniel i don't name them right those are named and predicted by it, it goes and finds it's like that looks a little different that's different that looks a little, that looks same. Okay, that groups together, right? So cats and dogs are kept to different. And then inside that, uh, you know, they are grouped differently too, right? So dogs together, cats together, it automatically predicts. Can someone give another example of unsupervised data than YouTube, right? It groups together what you watch, other stuff that you watch, right? Similar stuff, maybe videos on AI, show, so it shows you other videos on AI, right? So it shows a lot of similar stuff. That's unsupervised data. So AI, machine learning, neural networks, all these are the different stuff, right? So now we'll be going to the next stuff. Which is that? Which is that? Which is that? Neural networks. You guys have must have heard it. Like neural networks, that sounds so complicated. Well, not with me. I'm gonna make it so simple for you that you'll be like, neural networks, like it's something that babies can learn. Trust me. So you know how machines learn, right? Machine learning is when we taught AIs in different ways. So you can check this picture out again. 
there are different machine ways we can teach machine not just unsupervised learning not just supervised learning there's k means hypothesis learning support vector machines decision trees but the main ones are supervised and unsupervised now in neural networks is kind of a subset of machine learning and we teach machines in a specific way under supervised and unsupervised learning so it's kind of like inspired by our brain let me show a quick image right can you see in our brain there is a lot of neurons connected right uh, like can you see here there is a lot of neurons connected here that goes here that goes here right there is a lot of neurons connected right in different places just like that there's a lot of neurons connected here this is a bigger version right so neural networks is kind of inspired by the brain how it thinks right so we give here a few information it goes it thinks like it is a totally jumbled right it thinks in a lot of ways right now 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 what is deep learning imagine the same neural networks but just much 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 more complicated right think about it this way when you have much more lights that is neural networks right so i'm just going to take this okay so as you can see compared to the older picture of neural networks deep learning has so this has like a few stuff right so deep learning is kind of similar to just like normal neural networks it's like having more neurons having more wires just like our brain that's deep learning now in this deep learning there are different ways that this uh, kind of these neurons could be put like it, it it could be put in a lot of different ways so let's just say it could be put like this or it can come here it can come here right or it can go like this like this or it can go here and here same time here and here same time right there's a lot of ways this could work out right now so the thing is that uh, with this Uh, so in this way like where different different architectures or different different ways these neural networks go that is cnn rnn dnn and all those kind of stuff first of all what is dnn dense neural networks okay now in this ai can be thought okay to be used for text and speech information it can be used for text and speech right same with you know cnn same with rnn lot of stuff now i don't want to go too in the right now we have much more to learn so now what are we going to do is we are going to go a little bit more in depth into these neural networks different types of neural networks there is cnn dnn so text and speech is for dnn dense neural networks it's more dense like there are lot more lines right so for example let's say uh compared to okay compared to let's say these are neural networks okay there will be much more lines compare like this more than having more dots so when you have more lines like this that is more neural networks like it's more dense but when you have more dots it's more let's say deep okay it's going more deeper and there are more lines then it's more dense okay i i okay i'm just going to remove this okay i i'm really bad at drawing guys forgive me okay next is cnn same thing conventional neural networks basically this is what they were using before this is basically for images and videos like your phone face unlock then there is recurrent neural networks rnn this is for reoccurring data so okay let's see this this can also be used for text and speech let's say two dogs look similar they are reoccurring right so that is when reoccurring neural networks come in we are not going to go too in depth into this but i just want you guys to know so what is generative ai i think this you should be able to know i just showed you the slide why did i show the slide so that is generative ai creating text music images what we did just now that's generative ai right is generating new stuff and this is what you call ai nowadays like chat gpt and all but youtube video suggestion and all right the face unlock that was there long time ago that's all old ai but we new gen people use generative ai right new gen generative ai okay generate stuff thank you so much for joining into this 30 day ai challenge hope you are able to learn something from this now you have to rewatch this understand the concepts again 
watching this once won't kind of help you now if you missed any sessions do watch those as well anyway thank you for joining thank you for supporting my mission in teaching you guys ai another person who is supporting me is oxygen because there is a lot of cost to do all this and i just want to thank oxygen for supporting us doing all this now if you want awesome phones awesome laptops awesome washing machines that even has ai and stuff i don't know it's crazy i've gone to that showroom it has an apple store vibe right so check it out love oxygen you guys already know i don't have to explain a lot that's it do join tomorrow thank you my name is rahul you're watching rahul the rockstar and i I'm signing out.